Hi, Deb here, and I'm going to try to upload this on a Saturday, which is unusual for me. But sometimes when I'm trying to think of what doll to feature, I look at birthdays, and I realize today is Milo Ventimiglia's birthday. So we're going to feature, it's not really a doll, it's an action figure, but this is the action figure, and it's based on his character from... Heroes, Peter Petrelli. I just saw Heroes today for the first time. Watched two episodes and I love it. Um, let's see this. Here's all the characters. And they, they appear to be dressed in what they look like in the pilot from what I could see. Um, and there's Milo. This was made in 2007. Do any of you collect action figures? I have very few. I have some Star Wars, but I'm Star Wars obsessed. And so anyway, this, ha this is pretty, pretty jointed. But and I think, oh, here's the strange thing. I thought, what kind of stand is this? Because you put him on there and he's, and then I realized I'm pretty sure the character can fly. It's an uh, action figure. All these people have su different superpowers, so I can't wait to see where it goes. So um, the clothes are kind are like they're not let they're plastic, and it's not a real good likeness, but it represents him fine. Um, this is Milo. Kind of hard to capture perfection, isn't it? Um, and I think he's just gorgeous. I haven't felt like this since I was a teenager. <laughs> but I've seen him with a beard, a mustache, clean shaven, long hair, short hair, even kind of a buzz cut. He's still gorgeous. But that's not the main thing about this guy. I've, I've been watching, I just discovered him, and he's been around a while. <clears throat> but he recently did a show called The Company You Keep. And uh, William Fickner is another actor I really, really like. And he was in it too. So I thought, well, I gotta check this out. And then I thought, well, that guy's really good and really cute. So, so then I go back and I'm looking at his show. I'd known about This Is Us, but people kept saying it made you cry. And at the time I was having a lot of reasons to cry to me dad too. <laughs> um, and then recently I've told you that Life's taken a turn that's not so cool. Don't worry, I'll I'll be fine. But um, so I was kind of I binge watched This Is Us and I just loved that show. I got so involved and so I thought, I wonder what else he's done. So I have this great movie called The Art of Racing in the Rain. Um, it it has some sad moments, but they're moving and. And uh, it's, it's about a race car driver. Obviously, I love race car <laughs> driving. And um, it, it's, he adopts a dog, and you see this life-changing experiences through the perspective of the dog. The voice of the dog is Kevin Costner. It's, very, it's a lovely movie, The Art of Racing in the Rain. Okay, he's done. I've been watching different interviews because I was curious about him since I didn't know anything about him. It's stupid. Um, the thing that impresses me most is he seems like a super nice man. He seems thoughtful and, and, and he's just, and he's always talking about the crew, which my dad was a blue collar worker. So anybody who's conscious of people who work uh, with their hands, not just the movie stars and the everybody, everybody has a role, they're all important. But that impresses me when somebody appreciates people who work with their hands. And, and uh, anyway, I really have enjoyed following this guy's career all in a few months <laughs> time. So I don't know where I was. But um, let's see, he has a star on the Walk of Fame. Oh, today that I'm filming this is his birthday, July 8th, 1977. He's born in Anaheim, California. Another thing I like about the guy, he talks great about his parents. And you know, I had the best parents anybody ever had. And I loved hanging out with them. And 
spending time with him, and I miss him so much. And I've heard him say he wants to concentrate on spending time with his parents. Smart thing, my love, and Tamelia, because I'm sure you're watching this. Um, time with your parents is vital. It's just vital. Okay, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, and he's he supports the veterans. He's gone to Afghanistan and Iraq, and he's gone on USO tours. Um, I didn't have to do that, but that's cool. Um, to give back to the people who make our lives safer. He's been Emmy nominated. After watching This Is Us, I don't, I can't imagine why he wouldn't have won because he is exceptionally good. I mean. He's not just handsome and nice. He's a really good actor. He's apparently a producer as well. <clears throat> he's also in uh, Gilmore Girls, which I started. I was just going to start the second season because that's where he's in. And my friend told me, no, you've got to watch it from the start. And I'm so glad she did because I'm still in the first season and it's, it makes me laugh out loud, which, you know, that's usually Buster Keaton or Lucille Ball. <laughs> so I really enjoy that Gilmore Girls so I'm catching up I'm a little late to the to the uh, Milo thing but I'm enjoying the journey it's fun um, he has two sisters he's not married I wonder if he likes older women hey it's my show I can dream if I want to all, all joking aside he's a very talented actor a really cool action figure. I am going to get the rest when I can. And I can't wait to see the rest of Heroes and Gilmore Girls. And what other movie have... It was one with J-Lo. Um, second act. I liked it. But I didn't like the language. You know, I don't like bad language, but oh well. <laughs> it was still worth watching. And, uh, oh, it's, it's articulated there, too. So I can't wait to get the rest of them and put them all in a display. So let's see if I can get him on the stand without breaking it. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Take two. See, somebody, oh, shoot. Looks like I did break it. Well, we'll see. Doggone it. Now I think it pops back in there. Anyway, this is my little mini Milo tribute for his birthday, and I hope you if Google him. You, you won't be sorry. He's really good. And I hope you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and share the video if you sh choose. And until next time, toodles.